The National Collegiate Athletic Association has a new Executive Vice President of Regulatory Affairs, Stan Wilcox, replacing Oliver Luck, who took a position with the XFL. Wilcox will assume the post on October 1st. He has been at Florida State University since 2013, first as athletic director and then as school vice president. In the NCAA's world, Wilcox has been a success at Florida State with a college football national title and championships in soccer and softball. He has also found money to do renovations at the football stadium and arena, and in fact, with a big thanks to television money, FSU took in almost $145 million in revenue in 2017. The school also claims that student-athletes averaged a 3.0 grade point average during Wilcox five years at the school. But that isn't the whole story. Florida State University also had a problem with student-athletes being arrested during Wilcox's tenure. Nineteen football players were charged with various crimes, including Jameis Winston, in 2014. Most FSU players were never prosecuted. Wilcox's last major hire was Willie Taggart as the school's football coach. Taggart has just one goal besides winning a national championship, keeping his players and assistant coaches from getting into legal problems. Florida State University has also been accused of academic fraud. The NCAA has a number of major issues which it is facing. There is a federal probe of the business of college basketball, which has produced a number of arrests. The NCAA is trying to change rules that would clean up college basketball corruption. There are also problems with Ohio State and the University of Maryland football programs. But all of that doesn't seem to matter. The public accepts the entertainment the NCAA offers and doesn't ask any questions. The money people, led by TV executives, are still investing in the NCAA despite the federal probe and other bad behavior. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.